Hello, how you? Um, it seems to be more smooth uh, today than uh, last week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then there is some music before and everything, so it's quite nice. That's a good idea. Um, thank you, Jad, for the idea to keep the music on. Yes. Um, um, so, I'm doing the global intro, but I have a few things to say. Uh, first, um, I have to thank uh, the usual thing, the, the sponsor. So, thank you for the type. We have two persons from the type on the back. I'm pretty sure during the break they will be super happy to answer to some of your questions, uh, such as um, can I get a license of Helvetica or from Fines? I'm sure you will be able to answer because we need all of us. I think I'm fine, so you know why I'm saying that, probably. It's a pretty joke, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, thanks Monotype, because without Monotype we don't have this talk free for you guys on this room. Um, um, to Intuit Lab, because without Intuit Lab there will be no diapers or no talk, so very good. I don't know France. Tipo for for sure, we do so many things. Tipo tech, Glyph, um, Type Together, um, 205 Foundry, to say in French way, DS Type Foundry, Frère Jones, Air Typography, Sharp Type. En nos usual partners, Type Count, ici, Graphics en France, Lure, Scantil, Néanmoins. Um, so, a few uh, announce. Uh, there is somewhere, probably here. Uh, there is a brief workshop on Saturday. Uh, there is some spot still open. So this brief workshop is organized by Rainer and George. We are the two persons we have developed brief. So we have changed to register to the brief workshop for the full Saturday with them. It's still possible to do that. And, um, and uh, also for tonight, um, yeah, it's a letter for you now. Um, we are on the, on the uh, they are uh, we are on the on the week three. The week three mean they are moving to Griff for their project. So hey, yes, say hello. Hey. Yes. So they are moving. They are on their new. They are on Griff since so long. Okay. Less than one week. Something like that. Yes, less than one week, one week on, on leave. So you can see the progress of the pay face. And today we have the visit of Jan Party. Uh, maybe at the end with the, uh, the question and answer, he will say a few things about what he feel, all he feel about uh, what was achieved um, uh, today. Um, on next week it will be a, a, a big step into the big family because they, all of them, they will start. Uh, more weights or italics. So next next week will be quite um, incredible. On the last, um, yeah, you don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> um, on some, so next week will be the last uh, the last evening for talk. On the week after, they will be but it will be during the day. It will be on the 13th afternoon from three o'clock. 
And there will be the presentation of the final work from uh, the paper I said on this. So uh, there will be um, um, a page to register soon, probably Monday. And um, so keep that in mind um, to, to be able to see the results. Um, the, the, all the attendees will present their work uh, during, on this same place from 3 o'clock to, to be two, two hours, something like that, two, three hours to present everyone. So, um, yes, every of, of you, you will present your typeface to the public. I <laughs> the stress. It's better to get the stress before than at the moment. <laughs> yeah, because at the moment we have no threats stress anymore. So time I speak too too much. So Gina, it's your turn for tonight.
the Thai foundry in, uh, it was in uh, 2011. Uh, it was uh, Emmanuel Rey. And uh, when Emmanuel Rey arrived, we create, uh, uh, we changed the name of the of the company because uh, uh, there was no B plus P plus R and it was too, uh, too long and uh, BPR from, I don't know. So we changed the name and we named it the Swiss Thai Faces as a, it was a good, good hack of a, of a Okay, we are doing Swiss type faces, the name is Swiss type faces, and we are going to act the fact that the Swiss type faces now, this is our font. Uh, it was a little bit like a game, but uh, uh, it works quite well, it's like free marketing. And um, it's also a lot of things that, that I did, and also uh, there is a lot of influence also of my background, and I think the, I did a lot of graffiti when I was young. And the fact to, to, to find a cool name or a name that catch the, the thing, it's, it's really important in the, in the graffiti and you always have to be the, the to, to look for to be the king of the train line. So uh, 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 to find a strong name that Swiss type physics was important. Uh, so in 011 started uh, Swiss type physics. The Now we show you some important work that I did. Uh, I will get more focus on the, the new work, so I will just make a, a short, uh, just so, some image of the, the, the typeface for, in my opinion, that create that were really important for, for me. And um, maybe after there is some more question about it, uh, I can talk about, uh, about them. Uh, uh, but Roman Dubois, it's, it's definitely the most important things in my life. Um, and uh, as you will see, uh, uh, in fact, I don't create a typeface, then another one, then another one, but I think, uh, it's more than I think, it's, I'm always working on the on two or five typefaces. Uh, the the Roman du Bois and the, 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 the thing to understand this structure and to work about around this, uh, what I call the, the, the French modernist, uh, the, the, the 17th uh, French uh, century and what they create and how they, they create those, uh, those uh, constructivists, we can in a certain way, we can say a structure. Uh, I'm still working on it, and there was a first version, and it was in 06, the Roman du Bois was 07. Uh, I started this typeface uh, as a revival project uh, when I was in Denmark uh, for my master. Uh, then release it, then um, uh, make a, 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 So there was different version of Roman du Bois, the text version, and that version here, it's, a, it's the headline version. Uh, it's, here, it's, we can say it's a pure, uh, I could game it, revival. Uh, maybe it is different with the original, but uh, I try to be the closest as possible of the of the, the model, or, or we can say it looks like the Roman du Bois. Then you will see that the, the other thing doesn't look really like Roman du Bois. It's more like a, I try to, to take stuff of the of this of this moment and uh, make them my own. Um, then uh, uh, at the same time, uh, uh, my partner uh, at VP. Uh, uh, was doing a magazine. I was helping uh, like a consultant a little bit for, for this magazine. The name of the magazine uh, was Sans Bleu. Uh, the magazine doesn't exist anymore, but now it's uh, since 10 years, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a tattoo uh, company and he, Maxime owns a free, free tattoo, uh, tattoo shop. Uh, one in Zurich, one in London, and one in Los Angeles. And uh, uh, for the magazine, I created uh, uh, a set of typefaces. And in fact, those typefaces, like you can see here, the, the, all, this, all those typefaces, in fact, this is just lighter weight of the Roman du Bois. And uh, for, for example, for the, and, um, it's a really, really thin, or just the light. And then I also create a, a song version uh, of it. It became quite famous especially the ultra-light version with, uh, with those contrasts. And the, the, then the, the name uh, Sans Bleu was the name of this typeface. Uh, I, I used, uh, I erased the name of Roman du Bois for, uh, for Sans Bleu. But he, I, I like the idea also because Roman du Bois was the, the, the typeface of the king and uh, uh, Sans Bleu is uh, it's, uh, the name that we give to the people for the novel, you can say? The aristocracy. Uh, so I did this uh, collection of uh, typefaces, like I said, are just lighter version of Roman. Uh, for the magazine, it's, it's a little detail, but there was uh, uh, this uh, Sans Bleu condensed version, and uh, then the Sans Bleu uh, 
the name is not complicated, so it's sample 5, the name of, ah yes, there is the 5 at the end, sample 5. Uh, why 5? Because it was uh, just a uh, homage to Chanel. There was no reason except this one. And uh, um, that was what is what really interesting here. So, so, I don't know if the typeface are interesting or not. This one, I think, the, the, the bottom one, I think there is something interesting because uh, I decided to mix Rune uh, from the uh, Viking uh, writing style with a geometric typeface and uh, then it became, it was fun that uh, a lot of people want to buy this font and uh, we don't sell it, and it became during the time a huge trend and a lot, a lot of people copy uh, this style but uh, Sangle 5 was definitely the first one to mix this kind of weird stuff that I think it's now it's really interesting. Um, then with this, uh, what is interesting with this project is that uh, the, the two things, uh, first with the uh, image before, but that's the first time that I imagine a uh, family where the typeface has no link. I mean, you have the super condon version, but also the, the that's neoclassical uh, uh, version, the Sangle is like a, weird uh, uh, experimental song on a typeface and I created like a whole family and uh, that's the first time that I said okay I, I name a family and I put everything that works to, together as a graphic design system uh, and uh, give the same name. The second thing that was really interesting with this uh, for me uh, with this typeface is that then uh, linked also to the, to the success of the, the Sangle magazine uh, a lot of people um, and other magazines ask uh, me to create a different version of a song bleu for for the for the magazine for different magazines like a, a different kind of Vogue, or Vogue Turkey, uh, Vogue Brazil, and um, then if other magazine ask us uh, ask me to say um, a private typeface for magazine. So it was a really interesting way to enter into the world of, uh, of creating typefaces for for magazine. Uh, then uh, I want to put a lot of images, but if you, you want, you can go and see on, uh, on our the actual uh, Swiss Typeface website uh, all the different uh, styles of uh, what they create with the new Sangle. But then, in, in, um, I think it was five years ago, I, I totally redesigned the, the, the Sangle family and I created a new version of, uh, of it, which is totally different, in fact, from the revival. That's why I said that uh, the, the version before is. A revival because it looks like Roman Duroy and it doesn't look uh, not at all at Roman Duroy, but for me, I would just, just try to keep what uh, was interesting for me in the Roman Duroy, the symmetrical structure, the half moon shape in the D, and uh, uh, the way how the E and uh, this kind of things uh, works. But the Sangle is totally not, it's definitely not a revival, it's, it's just a, a way to, to create a new neoclassical uh, baroque uh, typeface. Uh, it's not historical, but uh, in a certain way, it could look historical. Uh, it's, and it's also for me like a, like a big uh, project that's always work. Uh, like the next one that you're going to see is the, the it's my most successful family, uh, Swiss uh, Swiss collection. Uh, Swiss collection is a mix of different typefaces. The Swiss International. Uh, it's just a basic grotesque. Uh, like Inca or this kind of uh, genre. Uh, it was condensed version. There was like the Swiss works. Uh, Swiss works is, uh, is more like a typeface, just to make it basic, it's more like a times. Uh, Swiss uh, Neue. I don't know uh, which kind of reference I have for, for Swiss Neue. It's just uh, uh, the Swiss International with contrast. And uh, uh, Swiss Mono, of uh, Swiss International. Uh, that's the first time for me that I created and you see then it's really important, uh, it was a big step and uh, show me that it's possible to create a, a huge uh, system of fonts, uh, uh, first with Swiss International, there is many different ways, uh, it's look, uh, of course classical now, there are so many ways, but uh, when I started it was it's not that weird, but uh, for me it was like a huge, uh, huge challenge to, and maybe I was a little bit stupid because it already exists, but I didn't work with interpolation, so it was every, every way it was drawn uh, like that. Just a totally stupid now, but... <laughs> Same for all the collection. All the collection was drawn without interpolation, and, and once again, don't do that, it's totally stupid, but uh, it's, it's gave me the... the, 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 the how you said? 
you get the, the feeling, okay, I can draw a lot, a lot, a lot of typeface. And it's a huge collection, you can really be lost when you work on something like that. And uh, uh, to, to achieve it, it's, uh, it's quite, uh, quite happy. And of course, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, it's important too, because we live with that. In terms of business, it was really important because uh, it was an opportunity to have a lot of money and then to be able to do a lot, a lot of new projects. Uh, uh, because of course, uh, we don't, uh, everything has a cost. So it's cool, everybody is, cool, is happy to do cool stuff, and, and sometimes they also ask you for money. And Swiss International was a good way to make a lot of my dream uh, come true. Like uh, with Swiss typefaces, I was able to do a lot of things. I want my year for me to be important, to be able that my own work, uh, and all other people can, I can uh, give money to other people uh, to create like a, a big, uh, I said, uh, movement around the thing and really proud of it. But I also was also able to buy my own uh, cycling team. Uh, so I have a, a, a SWTY uh, uh, cycling team. Uh, it was a pro team uh, in the, for this mountain bike. Uh, I met uh, one of my new partners. He was, uh, before he was one of the guys that was uh, sponsoring with this, uh, with this team. And many other projects like publication and, and, uh, and a, a magazine. And stuff. So it was a uh, uh, it was really cool, and it's, I think a lot of things are linked to, to, the, to this uh, typeface. Um, Swiss typefaces was also a good way to, to, to make a lot of experimentation. For me, my, my, you will see after a lot of my, my work is, 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 is sharing two different things. I have the way to draw really classical typeface. When I said classical, it's like uh, just the basic, uh, the Garad, the uh, uh, Tido, uh, uh, the grotesque. And to the other way, I really like to experiment and to propose new shape. Here it's a part of the W collection. Uh, it's a mono tido. And uh, uh, the, 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 like the goal of this uh, collection is I always started with the W, the capital W. And then I found the cool W. And uh, uh, then it became the, the, the key letters the, for the rest of the, of, the, of the other letters. And as it's a mono, uh, you have to find it to keep really narrow. You have to find a solution to, to bring the weight uh, Certain things. It was a good way to experiment. Uh, I did also a lot of uh, Swiss typefaces, which now I don't do. Uh, a lot of um, corporate typeface, like uh, the eBay uh, typeface, which in fact is just a basic protest. Uh, the, the, the Dubai uh, transport uh, front uh, with, uh, with my friend Pascal Zorbi. Uh, we did the uh, Arabic typeface. Uh, a really interesting work, uh, not work with the, the, the Dubai um, uh, transportation, but to create something really interesting, uh, the mix between uh, Arabic and, uh, and Latin. And we did a lot of typeface together. Uh, uh, that it, they are not at Swiss typefaces, but a lot of typeface that is sold. The, the, Latin, the Latin version of these Arabic typeface, I, I, I did them. And it's really fascinating to find a way to, to make two, uh, two different languages work together. A lot of crazy talk between us to say, oh, you have to make the last single lower or this kind of thing. It was really interesting to, to work with that. And just a few images also to, to finish about the, 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 on the, the work that I, I think I really like uh, the, the Esquire magazine. And I uh, also want to present this work uh, here because Jean Francois is here because he, there is a story behind this uh, typeface. That I did this typeface not a long time after you did the uh, Beyonce. Uh, I face. And uh, uh, when uh, David McKendrick uh, uh, called me to, to do a corporate typeface for Esquire, he said, make something, uh, make something, uh, uh, he wanted a Futura, but make something cool with a Futura. And I said, I don't know what's cool with a Futura. And uh, then I remember the, 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 the Beyonce typeface and I said, okay, I want to do an ultimate uh, uh, Beyonce with more and more and more ligature and alternate. And, uh, and uh, it's how the Esquire uh, typeface. Uh, and then uh, you can also uh, uh, see that uh, maybe you know the typeface of the clip with all those alternate and uh, 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 all the ligature of the uh, uh, clip uh, family uh, are here because uh, there was the Esquire and we have the clip typeface. We said, does we produce the, the Esquire typeface and the clip? Uh, it's quite stupid because the clip has alternate but not ligature. So okay, we make a mix of both. And that's why the uh, uh, has a lot of uh, ligature. Come from the Esquire typeface. Just quickly made also, uh, uh, I did a lot of uh, 
logotype is, I, I, I'm not the designer of those logotypes, so you know, like uh, you have to, to propose a type design a work around the, 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 something that already uh, uh, exists, but to make it better with your type design skill, it was a part of my, uh, of my job. Uh, but I met really cool people with that, especially to work with Construct London, who did Art and Ecos, Hips and Friends, and the Banners. And uh, I really like this, uh, this company and the work that they did. I was really proud to, 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 to work on the logotype that they did. Um, so now, uh, you leave. So after, uh, it was three, uh, four years uh, ago, I, did, I decided, uh, it's a long story, I won't tell you the story here, uh, but I decided to quit uh, Swiss Style Faces. Uh, I sell my, sold my part of Swiss Style Faces and decided to create a new company with uh, different people. Uh, part of the people who are created uh, for, for newly are old, uh, are old people of the Swiss type pieces, most uh, old employee of the Swiss type pieces, uh, Denis Moya, uh, Daniela Betana, plus another, um, another friend, uh, Mdek Turka, uh, where I met him with uh, Santi, and uh, so we are four at uh, New Leaf, and we created this company four years ago. The, I'm the designer of the font of, uh, of uh, New Leaf, and the other, uh, uh, Daniela and Denis, uh, are taking part of the, of the communication. Uh, uh, Denis, for example, is more of the graphic design, all the, the, the art direction of the website, and all this kind of a production of a, of a <laughs> vision. And uh, uh, Emric uh, is uh, the boss of, uh, of the money. And, and, and is the guy who, who gave me, a, who gave me a, a good square, so I'm not uh, lost uh, everywhere. So uh, uh, New Leaf, when I started New Leaf, uh, it was just, uh, I, I had the idea for me, it was quite obvious after uh, one month, two months after I saw the, 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 the release, uh, the idea of uh, the variable font, and I said, okay, I have to do that. I have to, to do, to think a full new collection of typefaces uh, that they are fully variable and created from zero to be variable. So uh, I was still at Swiss Type Faces, uh, uh, but it's when I left the Swiss Type Faces that I said, okay, now I will restart everything from zero. But I had no design, and I left all my design in Swiss Type Faces. So I said, okay, I will redesign everything from zero and thinking about variable type faces. The design has to be variable and has to, I have to create uh, uh, for each type faces a cool uh, 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 and huge, if possible, uh, 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 design space with the like, variable and explore the variable of possibilities. Uh, I can talk after about variable, but uh, I'm totally fascinated by the, by the possibilities of the variable, the way how we have to design. It's a, it's a crazy, uh, uh, um, challenge as a, as a designer and uh, uh, so for me it was really interesting then to, to create uh, um, different families and to I, have, uh, I propose two different kind of collection you have the classic collection of course classic could be uh, a lot of things but that's, that's a part of uh, my defi definition of what could be classic but uh, of course everybody can have his own but uh, the, so I have the classic collection and I try to make a, a full variable set of those, um, uh, of those classic. And the other one is the discovery collection. It's more experimental, if we can put it on experimental, because not all of them are totally experimental, but you will see some could be. And to play with the possibility of a variation uh, variable with them. But in fact, I'm a little bit wrong because there is one type phase, which is two type phase that they are not, not variable, Africa and uh, Angela. They are going to be variable, but not yet. So the first collection uh, in Discovery is ABC, it's my set of uh, three uh, grotesques. They are the archetype uh, of the, of, uh, the grotesques, the, the three different main style of, uh, of grotesques. Uh, basically, here are, uh, the two first, just the change, basically the change of the day and the ascender of my character lower. Uh, you have like an Helvetica like, it's totally not an Helvetica if you look all the shape, it's, everything is more round, but uh, um, you have to be 
we see after you know certain taste, and crystal is more like a, an accident goddess. But so you have with, with this ABC of a collection of the three essential uh, uh, goddess, I won't say Swiss goddess, but just the goddess. Uh, then we have uh, the, the, the statue of Garal, but it's a, uh, uh, you can see a Garal typeface. Uh, the monospace, the Dido, and the geometric uh, typeface. Then in the Discovery uh, collection, we have this uh, cool Dido that I already worked on it uh, 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 as a revival, and then I, uh, I decided to redo this typeface, just in fact using the revival, uh, the, those revival shapes, and add them on, the, on, uh, on Amazonian. Uh, so Agatha, in fact, is Amazonian with a few key letters that they are changed, like the G, the, the A, and the, this round, uh, round shape. Uh, based on, uh, on um, the book of Tido that uh, I found in a bookstore 20 years ago. Um, if you are on the typeface, Azteca and Alon. Stardust and Podity, that's, uh, I will just show more after, but it's something new. We released those two typefaces today, this morning. And uh, the last one, uh, Angela, we became like a, a week for, I think, for September. Uh, it will be a collection of, uh, with variation. Uh, with two italic rivers and a uh, normal uh, of an uh, ultra condensed uh, version. Really playful. Um, so, just now to have a look at, on, on the different uh, typeface. Um, so, this is for me, the, in fact, this is one of the most challenging work for me is uh, this collection of protests, and especially Swiss International. And uh, I, I started with Swiss International. And uh, in fact, Swiss International it started as a Sans version of uh, Sans Bleu. And then it became Swiss International, and then I restart from zero the, the, the thing uh, to create uh, Antarctica. Uh, uh, and the, 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 we said it's like, for me, it's like a permanent work on, on to find the best way to, to do this, uh, this kind of style. So each, each version is different. And each version is a next step to, uh, to the work around the genre of what is this kind of goddess. And uh, uh, then I made the change to have this uh, the second in the Amerika, the more Helvetica uh, 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 like, and the, 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 the grotesque, the accident grotesque, uh, you have the second line, graphic uh, design style. What is really interesting with uh, the, the variable font is that you can, with one family, one file, you can have many, many, many variations of, uh, of one uh, of, uh, for one typeface. Here, this is three different things of the same typeface. You have just a basic, uh, medium style of, uh, of Antarctica. And it's an extended style of, the, of Antarctica, but with contrast. And here, it's a uh, semi-condensed, not really condensed, but with some contrast, and then you, we, we start to have like a univers, I put some image because it's totally not univers, but the same kind of thing, a little bit condensed with contrast, and the, the, here we have the Neue, uh, the Neue fashion, it's, uh, it's also in the same set than, uh, than Antarctica, uh, Baikal and uh, um, uh, uh, Crystal have the same uh, design space, but with this, uh, with this type, with this kind of uh, design space, you have infinity of variation, but you have so many different things. And as a designer, it's super interesting to, to first to propose it, and also to design it. It's a super, super hard challenge to, to make everything works, because the, the, the with variable typeface, you will see also after, it's okay to make like a, like a master. And, but you made the master for the, for the Yes. Uh, if you if you do uh, uh, I mean, the people who buy a variable typeface, they will be they, they, they are supposed to use every place of the design space. So when you design a variable font, you you have to be sure that every place of the design space is cool and good. So you have to test and to play with the design space and every solution has to be good. And when you start, you think it's good and then you always discover a place where the interpolation doesn't work or the choice that you did between, for example, for this shape or this S doesn't work suddenly and this place, so you have to change everything. 
and it's a it's a huge war be between uh, doing uh, um, like a, a I try to do my best to do my regular style, then the old, and then oh, the medium doesn't work. Okay, now it's working. I'm changing the regular, then I have to do the condens. So it's a really uh, like a complicated, uh, huge complicated uh, things to, to do. Um, then the next collection is uh, is uh, the the, the Gerhard typeface. Same same process. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, this is a variable typeface. And, here there is different axes. Uh, you have the contrast axis and uh, the so condensed, uh, extended, and also the metallic that I released them uh, just uh, two months ago. Um, so the, 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 the what, what is also, what is really also it's more it's even more difficult I think with the serif typeface is that how it's possible in in one design space to be interesting in that line, regular, condensed. Extended, and uh, you have there is a lot of shapes suddenly that you notice that you can do, or you can do that in a, in a, in the headline, but suddenly text it doesn't work, and, and the step in between are not good. So there is a lot of uh, of, uh, of uh, things to 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 adjust, and it's a fascinating uh, design challenge. And then also I think for the graphic designer, uh, uh, super tools here it's, it's the same, uh, it's different solution with the same uh, with uh, with uh, uh, this is a normal, regular, uh, condensed, uh, no, a little extended, semi-condensed and uh, condensed version. And uh, you can see that with the same, uh, with the same text typeface, it was totally different uh, uh, style of text that, that you can do. And of course, it's just some proposal of variation. But then with the the the, 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 the cursor, I don't know the name in English, but uh, the slider. So. Uh, you can really adapt the font exactly as you as you want. Um, another another typeface that's Amazonia, same uh, same thing. Um, the 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 is some some image. Uh, the, the it's uh, the regular uh, extreme or contrast uh, version. Uh, also, for me, what was really interesting with this uh, this collection is also a way to explore all the different fields in once of the of, uh, of the history of type design. At the same time, I was designing the free grotesque. I was designing the uh, the Garam, the, Garam, uh, the the Tudo, the geometric typeface and uh, uh, extended content. So I like a huge uh, huge uh, travel into the, the world of all the shape and historical shape uh, possible or not historical. Uh, here, this is the, the condensed version. To, to be honest, there is still part in this uh, design space that they are not so that it could be uh, uh, better. And like all my typeface, I was still working on it. And for example, Antarctica, uh, uh, every two, I think every two weeks or three weeks, I'm, I'm uh, making correction and update a new version on, on the website. And uh, for example, those time I think that uh, uh, I so the time to think that the condensed version are not really so are not so interesting. So I'm starting to make modification on them, and uh, Antarctica is special strongly with that. Is that I'm working on this vortex since almost 20 years, and making new version, new version. Sometimes it's just modification on the same, and like I said before, Antarctica is complete re uh, redesign of, a, of an old design. Of, uh, I'm not sure I will redesign the, the, the Antarctica, but I'm sure I will uh, uh, make modification again, 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 and. Uh, of course, uh, here with the uh, with, uh, Amazonia, it shows that uh, we will have many different uh, 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 redesigns. The, the, for example, Atacama, the, the one before, the Garab, uh, there was the first version, and uh, uh, three months ago I updated also the normal uh, one Italy, and it's a new typeface. In fact, I changed totally the day, the E, uh, and it could be like that the second time. If I think that I could do something better, I would change the typeface to fit with what I like, and uh, what I think is the best for purpose of the typeface. Um, this is uh, Agatha, from now we are going to look for, to have a look at some uh, discovery tools. It's a, I, I like uh, to, to design also typeface to, to have, uh, I mean, on the discovery to, to have like a little design challenge and to play with a certain uh, certain style here. It's not really a creation because the, 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 the round shape uh, of the A, and uh, you see the, 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 the 
with the the, 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 the special G, it's not in the creation, it's, uh, it's not mine. The, those shapes are done by, uh, I don't know which, but it's uh, Dido, it's a uh, late Dido, Dido of the 19th century, and uh, I just, it's, it's not a revival, I just uh, use uh, those kind of shape, the fact that it's wrong, the fact that we can draw a G like that, this kind of G, in fact, coming from calligraphy, you can see and uh, find a lot of G like that. In, uh, even in the, the book of uh, Roman de Roy, the, the, uh, the calligraphy to present the, 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 I mean the, the construction and shape, the, the, the G are like this one. So, uh, so it's a pure calligraphic uh, shape. Um, I really like the, the taste that it gives to the, to the typeface, but um, it's not really a creation, it's just a, uh, something also a revival, something in between. Here is some, uh, some uh, I will show you some uh, typeface of the discovery. Um, here you have Angela next to, to uh, Azteca. Uh, as I said, with the W collection, for me it's really important to, to play with the rules of uh, what we can do with, uh, with the typeface and uh, how we can play with the different um, Shape, for example, here you have the, the, the way it's a monospace, it's a, once again, it's a Dido, a monospace Dido, ultra contrast, and the, the, the serif are uh, really, really long, so they touch themselves uh, next to each other, and then uh, I play with a different kind of how we can play the serif, how you can also, the fact that it's a condensed version, uh, sorry, a monospace typeface, uh, everything has to be in the same uh, width, so you have to find a solution for the for some letters, and then I like to, to have a huge uh, constraint, constraint. Uh, uh, so I'm obliged to find a, a solution to make it work. Uh, I think to, to find yourself crazy constraint is one of the best ways to, to be really creative. Uh, because you have no choice. It's exactly what happened with the W. You will see that the W of the Azteca is quite radical. Uh, next slide. Uh, here is the it's a mix of the East Africa typeface, the only one which is not variable, but there are three different versions. Mainly, this is the safe, uh, the, the, the ending. And uh, it's also, uh, for me, it was a playground to play with the idea of, uh, of uh, uh, how those kind of extreme shape, like the, like the F, uh, the safe, and how they, we can create a, a design, uh, design experimentation around, around it. Uh, it looks a little bit like a logo code. I think a lot of things that you, you, you write with it uh, looks, like a, looks like a logo and it's also very interesting to experiment uh, the extreme solution of uh, like the uh, Does we need a serif? Does we don't need a serif? In fact, if the, the stroke is long enough, you see it. It's a super contrast version, it's supposed to be big. So you don't need to, to, to respect all the, the, the standard of, uh, of what we, we are supposed to, to do. Uh, of course, it's, uh, it's always the same thing. It's, I was talking to the, to the student all the day. Uh, it's always a question of balance. And uh, the, even, the, even the repartition of the way you can do it, you can do whatever you want. If the way is, uh, is well balanced, it will create something interesting. It could. It's not because you are experimental or you don't follow the rules that you make something cool. Most of the time, this is the opposite. Uh, this is the, the also, this is two uh, two different things of, of uh, uh, the the Azteca typeface. So you have the W, the famous W, which is totally. Uh, uh, I like to say it's a little bit extreme, but it works really well in text. But not in text. But I mean, when you create work with it, uh, and I like the fact that. This is a monospace. You have to be. Uh, you have to be. Uh, you have to find a solution to put all those diagonal of the W. So you have to erase place, make straight line or whatever. And, uh, also, I like to. Hey, we, we can't really see, but how the T. One, one part is uh, really heavy. The other is really thin. And all the Azteca typeface. Uh, it's, it's a Dido based, but uh, play with the idea of uh, just the rep repetition of the way. For the T, if the weight was heavy everywhere, it was too heavy. It was thin everywhere, it was too thin. So uh, I put the heavy part on the, on the right and a uh, really thin part on the left. And a lot of the glyphs are drawn like that in the typeface. Uh, here, this is uh, the, the, 
to the one the I don't know. This is my problem. I have a really, really good idea to say, okay, all my life is to have free day, and uh, it's really cool, so I can show the day, etc. Et and after, after six or seven typefaces, uh, even in the in the team, we start to mix the typeface and oh, what is it? It's Azteca, it's Aloha, it's... What is it? So, now the two new typefaces stop. Okay, we stop with the day inside. It's, uh, we, are, we are going to mix all the different typefaces. Uh, this is the, the, the second one. It's Armada. It started as a project uh, for a free typeface for our... We, we started with Ambassador. Uh, the ambassador uh, uh, system, we offer them a, a, a typeface. Um, so it's also a type here. Uh, we did a super condensed, uh, no, not super condensed, super tight, or not super tight, uh, non spacing, but uh, the typeface are spacing, but you can create uh, funny stuff like that. Uh, this is the, 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 the new typeface of. Uh, the two new typefaces that we that we release uh, today. Uh, it started as a since a long time when I was designing the, the Antarctica typeface. Uh, I had this condensed version, but I was always not happy with the expanded version. I said it's not enough expanded. But with this design, it's not possible to be expanded. I mean, ultra expanded. Uh, it doesn't fit with the original shape, the E, the, the, the A, it's not possible. I mean, of course it's possible to make an ultra expanded, but it won't fit in the variable system. So the first task we said, okay, I want to do from super condensed to really, really, really uh, extreme uh, uh, extended uh, uh, area. So I decided to, to, to create a, a system is able to do that. So it's, it's basically it's a constructivist typeface. So I, I made my first uh, sketch of it uh, 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 three, a few months ago. It was uh, fall next year. And then when I finished the italic uh, of the of Atacama, I said, okay, now is the moment to do uh, to do this uh, this uh, two uh, two extreme uh, typeface. And it was like uh, for me like a little bit like a marathon. And it also it's a constructivist typeface. So Quite uh, fast to do, uh, so I started this typeface. Uh, yes, it was uh, one month and a half ago, six weeks ago, and the two typefaces. And uh, uh, my, my it was like also like a challenge for me. It's okay, now I want that those typefaces are released in June, so I, have, I can have a, a cool summer. Uh, and it's and it it became to uh, the, the idea of to make something super extended. That was the key for building every shape. Uh, it has to be extended, so the, 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 the weight or the, the, the shape has to, to, to fill the space. Um, the, 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 it's why you, you, you have those uh, serif on here, there is no yes, the Y as a, as a serif. Uh, of course, it's, it's, it could be cool, but it's also because when it's super extended, if you have just one straight line, the E is lost in the, in the design, uh, in the, the rhythm of the text. And the, the, the same for, for the wife with this little, uh, little straight line. It's really important to have a, for the, the super extended uh, version. The, the, the I like it, once again. I like to have a, to create con uh, to have to constraint to, to, to my work, and uh, the super extended version obliges you to find solution. Here, this is a uh, uh, cool. You can do that. This is the most extended uh, type. Uh, of course, you can you can be more extended than that, but then it became uh, 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 not really useful. In fact, uh, it's something interesting. Also, here, I was sure that I understood everything with uh, the way how the shape has to 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 move into the variable. Uh, System. I, I was sure that with Antarctica I understood everything. Uh, how, uh, the, the, for example, the S, which is really like that, uh, uh, moved like that and then became more flat and more long. I was sure that, that I found the thing. So I, I drew, I drew this, uh, this typeface like that and I don't really check the, the interpolation between uh, uh, normal and super extended. Uh, and, uh, 
this uh, the last weekend uh, when we were doing the, with Denis the first uh, sample of uh, for the presentation. Suddenly we discovered that all the all the, the shape is like a semi-diagonal shape was totally broken in the big collision comfort because the step between can you can see here the, the step between uh, a shape like this S the shape that, that like even more than this S it's not possible with the interpolation the, 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 it's hard to explain here with a schema it's easy but the 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 the, the, the interpolation doesn't work and the, 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 the basic curve suddenly broke and all the design was totally destroyed and said, oh, how is possible? And then it was like a nightmare this weekend to try to find the solution. How can I uh, uh, trick it and find a solution to make the interpolation uh, uh, works? And in fact, it, it's always the same thing with the, with the, the, the variable, but also we can say with interpolation, is that if the steps are too big, there is a two, uh, the, 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 the step between the design is too big and the uh, interpolation won't create something interesting and it destroys, so you have to make a, a, an intermediate, uh, intermediate uh, master in between. And uh, for, ex for example, between uh, normal and superabundance, it's, it's logic because you have the, 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 the type fish which is totally, uh, you can see, uh, straight and then uh, it's became more round like the less. So it's normal that you need something, especially with Antarctica, you need something in between. Uh, this I understood quite fast uh, three years ago. But with the horizontal line, it was totally not uh, clear. So the, the, the way how we have to deal with the, the, the master, how we have, we have to add a master in the design space to make work the, 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 the variable is totally fascinating. And now I know that I will learn uh, for the rest of my design career, uh, stuff around uh, how we can move, make a typeface move uh, well and uh, smooth. Because what is interesting with a, with a variable font, of course, it's a, it's a beautiful tool for for um, for graphic designer. But to make graphic design, but it's also a beautiful tool to make animation. And. For, for graphic designer to, to make, a, to make a, a, a layout, you don't need that the animation is very uh, smooth. Just choose this way, or making a little bit more bolder, or, and you don't care how it's smooth. If the, if the, for example, the, the teeth suddenly like that, you don't care because it's static. Uh, but if you want to do animation, every movement has to be, uh, has to be smooth. The, 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 for example, the, 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 the bar on the top of the T has to, to make Lower and lower, lower and lower, even if there is a lot of fun master. Uh, the, 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 the bar of the A at the middle has to move uh, smoothly, especially with Atacama, the, the Garal typeface. When you are super condensed like that, and then with the, the extended like that, you, you need to, to, to inspire uh, smooth the, the transition. Because uh, when you make an animation, you want that the things works like if it was a, a, a pure a morphing. And uh, uh, so it's it's, uh, it's like it's a uh, it's a big 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 challenge to, to always to find a way to make all those uh, interpolation really smooth because what we want is to make it, it's the possibility to make animation with it like the first animation that you saw on the, the beginning. Uh, here is just some sample of what we can we can do with uh, uh, Stardust. Uh, as you can see. The, the, See the different possibility with the same, uh, same uh, design space. Uh, in fact, the two types I design, uh, I design uh, uh, Stardust first, and then the, the, the other type, the Oddity. Oddity share a lot of uh, of leaf of the uh, of Stardust, uh, but also uh, like the M, uh, you can see the M, the, the E, uh, the A are the same letters. So. Uh, so it's, it was, it's also why it's easy to, to draw these two typefaces. We don't we don't say it's the same family, but they are really close in the, the, the way of the works to, together. It's, uh, it's for graphic design, it's super cool. But it's it also it's a new uh, tendance. I think the, the, those kind of typefaces it was like a revival. Uh, of, even if this style is uh, is uh, many 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 people design stuff also like that. I don't think. I'm really uh, 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 
Neil is proposing something like that. But for me, these kind of things, you can see in Switzerland, so many other platforms uh, during the 60s with this kind of typeface. And it's also, it was for, for me also interesting to find a way to, to, to bring some, something a little bit new into it, like the way I work with the F, the E, uh, the way out the M, because it's also because the, 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 the ultra extended, you have a small little, little flat part on the M or the, the Y. Of course, you can do cool revival of the logotype uh, of uh, its uh, Swiss uh, company. Uh, train company. So, um, the, 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 also, the uppercase. Uh, uppercase. It's, it's really like I, like, I like when typefaces like that, they are just the tools to make logotype. You don't have to, to spend a lot of time then to create a cool logotype. You just find the right typeface. And uh, it's also a challenge, I have to say that. Imagine that every combination has to be a cool logotype. And I like the, the, the sorry, to like my work, but I like the fact that <laughs> just with the little details like the C, suddenly it could be really, in a way, boring. But just this little uh, disturbance make the, the like a new something new in this genre. Or the, also some serif that uh, I didn't do it. But it also could be also as this is a. Uh, this is Stardust, a uh, cool uh, text, uh, dim like uh, typeface, but I think it's also a good, uh, uh, we are talking about cooking and how to work with the new uh, Eclair or Chocolat. Uh, and I think it could be, uh, C has a revisit of the, of the dim uh, typefaces. You have some essential, but it's totally not the dim. You have the construction, but you also have a different uh, uh, specificity, specificity that make it. Uh, different and maybe more, in my opinion, uh, I don't like this word modern, but uh, useful for, for now. This is something also that I want just shortly to share with you. Uh, this is, it was also a, part, a big part of the new Glyph project. Of course, new Glyph, mainly it's a design project around Barhaven, but uh, it's, it was also for me uh, uh, really important to to share my, that my work also is a little bit more useful that uh, may to give me uh, fun, money, and to help uh, people around me, my partner, and maybe my employee to live. Uh, uh, so this is something that uh, uh, we have to we can read. We, we said 10%, not on the benefits that we have, it's 10% of the, we buy a typeface directly, 10% uh, go to not directly send money every, every six months, but, but uh, if, when you, you, you purchase a font, uh, before to, 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 to go to the, the, the card or uh, to put your name, you have a, you have a window, a uh, space, you have to choose the, 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 the people where your money will, uh, will go. Uh, it's a uh, font du monde, ocean cleanup, and the Red Cross. Um, the ocean cleanup, maybe you know this. You know, you don't know this project. It's a beautiful project. They, they, it's a, they create a, like a, a boat with a system to 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 uh, bring back the bring back, I don't know, take the, the plastic into the, the the ocean. And now in the river, and there are many projects like that. And uh, I'm really happy to be to be able that uh, a part of my uh, little humble uh, design could have something a little bit bigger than uh, just making cool logotype. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know, I had this slide, and maybe the future of, of New Leaf. Uh, so I think, of course, I will, I will go on to where this new typeface. My, when, when I left Swiss typefaces the, the four years ago, the, the goal was I have to create a new company because I have no money. And uh, I have to, to, to work really, really, really fast. Uh, I did everything that you saw, it's uh, the, the work of three years and a half of joint. And uh, uh, the goal is to release still some typefaces, but then to run a little bit. Uh, so the, the, the future is to, we, I will have my, uh, like my, um, my long, long, long story. I will redo, I'm redoing a revival of Roman Duran. <laughs> <laughs> so I will do, I will present a new uh, Roman Duran, a variable Roman Duran. I'm sure Grand Jean and Louis XIV would be really happy to have a variable font. <laughs> and uh, the Médaille du Roi would be really more cool with a variable font, definitely sure. Uh, and also I'm happy because 
I, I, I want to, to learn uh, during one week, I did uh, uh, an internship to, to imprimerie uh, national and, and to learn to carve, uh, to do a punch. Punch? 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 Mm -hmm. oh, and, uh, and then I saw that they have the real collection of Roman Dura and the real Medaille uh, Dura and uh, the original, and it was kind like, ah, okay. Now we do the book. It won't be like some blue, but it won't be like the, the revival. It was something in, in between, but more close to the to the to the, to the actual Roman de Roi, but the actual, I mean, the original Roman de Roi, but not a real uh, revival. More still an experimentation, and it will be the, the next one. And maybe then I will do another Roman de Roi. It's just a project of my life. And um, so the next will be uh, Roman de Roi and other project, uh, maybe other font. I still don't know which font I'm going to design after Roman de Roi, but Roman de Roi will, uh, will be the next. I'm still working on it and it will be, I think, in October or in November. Or uh, maybe then, maybe I have to do it, but I hate to do that. But I have to do the Vitalik uh, of uh, Amazonia and uh, all the typists. Also, the thing to, to be fast, I started only with the, the straight uh, the Roman typefaces and uh, to be able to release something and to start to sell. And uh, then I arrived after, after one year and a half, and all the typefaces that uh, the classical collection don't have Italic. I'm not a fan of drawing Italic. And suddenly yes, I, re I realized that I have to choose now Italic during one year and a half. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> so that was my curse. And now I still have to draw Italic for many typefaces. Amazonia don't have Italic. But Italic, so Vido could be really fun. It could be a good purpose to redesign uh, Amazonia. So, thank you. Because the, 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 in fact, it's 
an opinion, but uh, there is different things. But the, the biggest history of that design, I mean, occidental uh, that design, of course, uh, the biggest invention, in my opinion, and the be more beautiful, uh, is the French that history. Uh, and all my influence is more the French history of type design than the Swiss. Then if I have to think about what is Swiss type design, of course we, all, we are all going to say Helvetica. Helvetica is a grotesque, it's more German style uh, typeface. Uh, there was no, maybe there was some, but uh, for example in the area where I come from in Lausanne, I'm not sure that there was uh, in the 19th century a lot of people that they were creating a new grotesque style. I think it's more like uh, something coming from Germany and maybe uh, I think we spent some time to do French Meyer did some full research about it, but it's like uh, my uh, said past of sign painter who said that in fact the grotesques were always there. And if you look even at Pompeii, some of the same signage you can see already a uh, sensei type is and I think all sign painter and I don't know how it was in the street of Paris in the 16th century, but I'm not sure that, uh, uh, I'm talking as a sign painter, I'm not sure that when they have to, to make an advertisement for the new, uh, for the wine or whatever, they are going to draw a beautiful uh, uh, Gerhard style. Uh, it's clear that with the brushes or the stencil technique that they have, uh, they won't spend a lot of time to make a beautiful style. It was, it was uh, and there is evidence like that, and I found uh, uh, Totally not on uh, the purpose of type design. There was the, uh, uh, they, they, they make a fake tomb of a uh, for King Arthur in the during the 9th century, uh, this monk in uh, England to make believe that uh, King Arthur was alive and was uh, died here in this place. Uh, in fact, it's a fake. And inside uh, there, there is a cross with the name uh, King Arthur on it. And uh, this is a beautiful process. Yeah. Uh, this, this was done in the 9th century. And uh, Fred Meyer also showed a lot of things that uh, it's, it's, it, was not, it was not in the books. It was really for art, from craftsman stuff. So when you have to draw, to write something on a, on a lamp, uh, carving the metal, you're not going to carve a gothic or a garamo. No. And there was a lot of samples like that. So the grotesque, I don't know. And then if we, we, we think about another another designer, it's like, okay, Swiss is Frutiger. But Frutiger was working here. And one of his main typefaces, uh, Univer, you can find a lot of beautiful reference. So it really looks like Univer, like there are in fact on the catalog of the Bernie Penny. And for me, the Univer, a lot of the part of the beautiful uh, likeness of the event. In fact, this is really about the French story of type design. And uh, the, the, it's why I'm really fascinated by the, maybe it's the question why I'm fascinated with Roman du Roy. Because Roman du Roy, for me, that's the moment where the French start to design something. It's not something based on calligraphy. The shape don't come from calligraphy. We don't really know from where they come from. They start to say, okay, we can do something symmetrical, everything is rational. So this is really the beginning of what I like to say this is the beginning of Swiss modernism. It's happened here, not in Basel or in Zurich. So it's why for me it's really hard to say it's a long answer. Um, if if I if I feel as a Swiss designer, and in the history of Swiss design, I don't know, I feel more in the in fact in the history of uh, what I like is the French history of type design with my background of graphic design in, uh, in, uh, in, Lausanne, in Lausanne, in Switzerland, for example, with the, graph, the, the, the Zurich graphic scene, and uh, the Eka, who bring me a lot of so of knowledge around it. So, more than. I think it's a good question to ask for somebody I think is not. I'm, I'm not uh, objective to, to really have a strong answer about it. And same now. It's so international that definitely I can say that the fact is done by a Swiss or by an American. For example, everybody is doing revival of protest. It's really hard to say it's a pure Swiss uh, German. And many people came also in Switzerland and we teach them how to do it. So it's um, <coughs> Yes. But maybe I'm wrong. No, it's your opinion. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions? Yeah, I think it was a bit 
impressive. Uh, I would be curious to, uh, to see your own version of the Egyptian self step. Oh, that could be, uh, could be really interesting. And that's one of my, uh, I really want to draw one. Um, could be a really interesting variable, I was thinking as a variable solution with a, with a Dido. To have, uh, to have uh, like pure slab Dido, but it will be some round, uh, round shape. It's more like a scotch model, I don't know. You don't know the style, just something to make the interpolation work. Carbon. Hmm? Yes, Clarendon. Dido, Dido, Clarendon. And then to make like a huge uh, design space with it. Um, to be honest, uh, uh, I don't lie on these kind of things. Uh, when I choose the typeface that I have to draw those time, there is, there, is a, there is one thing which is really important for me. Uh, it's the way how the spend that I'm doing on the typeface and the money that is possible to have back now for me is really important. And uh, the Clarendon, it's really hard to sell them. It's like the Dido, it's crazy uh, 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 the difference of uh, selling between uh, Dido uh, and uh, the Cortez. I think it's uh, one Dido for, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 dollars. It's, uh, it's, uh, so I really want to do, and maybe it would be a beautiful project because it would be amazing to draw and to see those variations, especially a super extended version of Clarendon. It would be amazing and bold with the, the jaws and then turn to the back. I think it was beautiful things to do, and definitely it would be a concept to do. Any other questions? Silly questions that you have to design or ask if I want to ask. Um, yeah. I have a silly question. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, what is the most Swiss sans serif? Does it Helvetica or Unilever? You already have time with a bit, but I, have, I want a definitive answer for the Swiss. What is, what is the most Swiss? Uh... It's Helvetica or Unilever? I have, I have two more. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I have two more. I think the term, <laughs> then, then you enter into a big, big question because Switzerland is so small, but uh, the, the way how uh, there is like, uh, um, for example, the, the, the people who speak uh, uh, Italian is totally different, and, uh, of course, but it's even more uh, during the, the modernist, I never know which type is it, but during the, 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 the huge modernist period in the 60s, the, the, the people from Basel use only, uh, I think it was accident borders. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And the people from the from Zurich, it was Helvetica. So, uh, uh, and it's it's uh, 50 kilometers. So, uh, the, is the Helvetica, me, I would say, in my it's no, it's totally not scientist or anything. For me, it's Helvetica because uh, we have like a kind of Helvetica with the, the, the like the train and those all those kind of things is more or is small because but if I was when I was young I really, uh, had to took every uh, to take every time the plane because it was universal it was Swiss it was more like a universal uh, uh, type face if I'm not wrong um, but uh, the the no definitely I think uh, Helvetica and also with the reason that I said before if I really want to have to say uh, type designer so it's for me universal is French definitely. Yeah, I have another stupid question like that. But your answers are, are, are really great. Um, the second is, you already put an answer to that, so you are more fast than me. Um, in terms of, of typeface design, not typography, typeface design, which part of Switzerland is the most Swiss for type design? Type design, <laughs> which part of Switzerland? Um, and I have the last one. Uh, <laughs> I have the last one. You don't, you don't feel obliged to, to answer this, this question. The last one is uh, uh, it's about legibility. Yeah. Um, um, do you feel uh, which sensory uh, genre is the most legible? Because it's more like a grotesque or more like a humanist Frutiger look like? So, so the, first, the first question. Uh, I will reply with a little trick. The, the most Swiss place, the, kind of the best uh, Swiss uh, uh, 
uh, style. Um, I think it's, uh, it has to be next to Fui, uh, it's where uh, François Rapport will live. And I think he, he did the, 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 uh, one of the best work about the, the, the synthesis of what is really, the, 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 in my opinion, the perfect, uh, good synthesis of what is uh, the Swiss, uh, the Swiss type is, uh, Swiss type is, is uh, no uh, fun word. And uh, so, I would say Fuli, so somewhere in the valley, uh, next to the mountain. And, uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard. I think, of course, the, 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 if we talk about graphic design in Switzerland, there is the main place, of course, that's really, and everything. But that's, uh, it's a little bit like in France, uh, uh, you have big, uh, a lot of things happen in Paris, and for, uh, in Switzerland it's more open, but for graphic design, if you are not living in Zurich or you don't have an office in Zurich, or it was like that, it's, it's definitely more hard to do things. So the, the temple of graphic design is still in Zurich. So, so it means that graphic design, the most Swiss, the most Swiss design for graphic design is in Zurich, but for type design is more Swiss Roman. I think because now the best type designer, good, no? I think the best the best type designer for me in a, in. A, in Switzerland now, they live, in, uh, they live in, the, in the French part of Switzerland, definitely. It's cool. And the best type foundry we release a, 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 a really interesting uh, typefaces from type designers. Uh, they are in the French part, which is cool. And uh, the second question, um, I like this subject, and I will reply with one thing, is that we can have two different... I talked with some students today about... Uh, but, I will repair with one, with one, with one uh, question. I was answer. Uh, this is a scientist question. Maybe not. Yes, <laughs> and we need, and I think we need, we have to do. We need the scientist process and protocol to prove it. Because if you and me, for example, all this, that, we, we stand here, we put uh, like Fetiger did, he put Helvetica here, and next to it, he put, uh, he put Fetiger. Voici, ici, OK, I can read this typeface better. OK, you can, but do you really read it better? It's uh, what's happened in your brain? Uh, it's, it's not really scientist. So what we have to do is we have to, to rent uh, the airport of Voici. I think they are on strike, so maybe it's Voici. Right now. <laughs> and we, everybody has to go out. Uh, we take a 1,000 uh, client. We don't know, uh, there, is, there will be two uh, group of clients. We are going to, to change all the signage in Helvetica. And then uh, all the signage after in a... In a yeah. Yeah. And then uh, one group is going to follow us. Okay, you have to take the play of the gate 8. Uh, you have to watch the, the way you're playing. And then each person, we are going to make a chronomet and to see if they arrive uh, uh, at the same time, and how many, uh, and I really want to, to, to be able to say to somebody, between Frutiger and, uh, and Helvetica, it's 10 seconds of difference. <laughs> and, but in the other way, I like also to think about, in this way, it's, okay, is, is Helvetica is more legible than, uh, than Frutiger, or the opposite? Uh, then we can say that the Chinese typeface, they are definitely not on the same uh, process and they, are, they could be look like more complicated than uh, the super uh, smooth and easy way of, uh, of uh, for example, of Kritiger. Uh, then we can imagine that if Kritiger is more legible than, uh, than Helvetica, could we imagine that the, the, the Chinese airport are full of people that are lost because they can't uh, find their way because the typeface, the system that are so complicated with all those angles no, I think, I, me, in my opinion, I think that uh, it's really cultural, and if you have the habit to, to recognize your typeface with Helvetica, you will find it easy. But we have to test it. No, it's the same thing that uh, uh, when all the books were written in Germany and uh, with Gothic, people were able to read it, or in during, I think it's the 19th century, I think all the books were printed with uh, Dido. Almost. And everybody was able to draw, to read with Dido, but now to read a book with Dido, it's really hard. So I think it's more a question about uh, culture and uh, I don't know. But we definitely have to, to test uh, this. A very small uh, thing about the, the clients. You say you have to do the test with the Roissy clients. Yeah. But when you sell a typeface, you don't sell a typeface to the user, you sell it to the clients. 
So when you, I did the same as Fatiga for Parisi. Mm -hmm. If you put a client in the dark room and say, which one is the most legible, you have to be the ones that you have to sell to the clients. You don't care the user. Yes. That the client with is a typeface, not the user. Mm -hmm. But also we can uh, maybe we can do it. I prefer even to, to we can run the subway. <laughs> it's something to do. But definitely we have to, to do that. Uh, and also it could be uh, as a type designer, imagine on your foundry, you can put on, on the you have a, okay you have, you have your a signage typeface and then you have the argument ten seconds faster than the digital. <laughs> but shoot based on a scientist study. Or Thank you so much. Thank you.